So Ray, what inspired you guys to create the ball drive? Well, I mean, this first started four years ago with me being a youth football coach. I would go to the rec centers and see a shortage on, on, on balls, anyone from basketball, footballs, anything. And we started purchasing balls to donate to the rec centers when it comes to, you know, friends, family members, or actually we buy it back to my workplace where, you know what, this is something we can do during the summer, especially to push kids to be outdoors more. You know, instead of being on what we normally see now in front of screens and, and you know, this is our fourth year and I will say I've seen people reaching out to me uh, throughout the year. Hey, we want to donate some balls. So that alone is letting me know that people are there to help out, you know, the community and are also on the same page with me. We want to push these kids to be out and about and be active and, and play sports. Um, we're a strong believer in sports saves lives for our youth. And little by little, I get these emails, calls, where they're always open to donate balls throughout the year. How do you guys plan on distributing the donations this year? So as we planned out uh, our donations, whatever we're able to collect today, we're going to do it half and half is going to go to the communities in El Paso and half are going to go to some communities in Juarez. The main communities here in El Paso are going to be the Boys and Girls Club and the Limor um, organization, I believe. And in Juarez, with Ashley Avila, she is the main one that's going to be selecting some of the Juarez communities. It's very important for uh, any child type of sports because it does help them socialize, it does help them build their motor skills, it keeps them innovative and creative. And one of the key things is that a ball is a universal toy that it helps them, you know, mesh with any kid that they have at, at any age. If you're three years old, you can play with someone that is five, you can play with someone that is six. If you're 18, you can play basketball with someone that is 40. It doesn't matter, you just can't socialize with them.